Keep Breathing is a survival drama, the series consists of six episodes. The story of this drama is, when a small plane crashes in the middle of the Canadian wilderness, a lone woman must battle the elements and odds to survive. This show has got 5.8 ratings on IMDb. You can watch complete series on Netflix. Today, we will explain the first episode of Keep Breathing. This episode starts with a lady waiting for her flight at the airport. While waiting, she gets a phone call. The person on another side of the call asks her where she is. She replied she's at the airport and wants to go far from the city for a few days. She says that she has written every detail on the email. Here we come to know that she is a lawyer and her name is Liv, and the person who called her was her office friend, Ruth. Ruth asks her if she can loop in Danny in her absence. To which she replied, yes, he is a great lawyer. When Ruth mentioned Danny, she gets a glimpse of the new boy Danny, who came over with the merger with her office. Ruth says that she has never took holiday like this before, she wants to know is everything alright. Liv says that she is fine and she cuts the phone. When she inquires about her flight, she gets to know that her plane has been stuck due to strong wind. Airport staff says they cannot fly her today, but if she wants they can fly her the next day, to which Liv replies that she took two flights from New York to get there, and she has to get to Inuvik the same day. She says she is trying to meet someone before they leave it again. The airport receptionist says her to call and inform them about her delay, to which she replies, the person doesn't know I am coming. In present, we see Liv, lying in the waiting chair. She is thinking about her mother. In her memory, we see baby Liv, with her mother. Her mother is smoking and painting. Her mother says to her, you look just like me when I was your age. Meanwhile, she hears, two men talking about their next destination. They used the name, Inuvik, while they were talking. It was the same place, Liv has to go, so she stands up and follows them. She asked them, whether they were going to Inuvik. They replied, yes. She says, she has to go to the same place, her plane is stuck, and requested to take her with them. They say they do not know her, and they are at work, so they will not take her. Liv says, she is a lawyer, and she has only two bags. But the guys still do not agree. She offers each of them a thousand dollars, still, they are not convinced, while, this scene attracted the attention of a security guard, so the guys agreed to take her with them. In the next scene, we see all three of them inside the small plane. George is flying the plane. The plane is shaking so, Liv asks about the turbulence. Sam replied that it is common in this season. She felt scared. She tries to use her phone, but George the pilot, warns her not to use it. Sam offers her a wine bottle, but she neglects it. She took a water bottle and snacks. Meanwhile, Sam says that he is a photographer and works for National Geographic. He says he is going there, to capture photographs of 12-horned rhino. Liv wanted to take a nap after this short chat so Sam does not disturb her. She puts on headphones and plays meditation music. This sets her to sleep. In her dream, she is tricked by her office friend into a party, where she met the new boy who had joined her office. Due to the loud noise, Liv's eyes opened. She felt the huge shaking of the plane, and when she saw outside, she notices, the plane was flying too close to the ground. She asks them, why are we flying so low? George replied, there's no pressure and fuel. We are going down. Suddenly there's an explosion in the plane. George asks Liv to put on her seatbelt. The alarm beeps, and they crash into a mountain lake nearby. Everything went silent, in the next scene, we see Liv hanging in upside down position. She has fainted and her eyes are closed. When she opens her eyes, she saw water inside the plane. She takes a heavy breath, and tries to detach her seatbelt. She was able to free herself. When she turns aside, she hears Sam, who asks for help. He is asking George to help him out. She was able to detach Sam's seatbelt and he's also free now. When Liv asks Sam, if he's okay, Sam replied, he can't swim. Liv asks Sam, does the plane have life preservers? He says he doesn't know. Meanwhile, George groans, he says his legs are stuck. Liv went to help him. She tries to detach his seatbelt. But George's leg has been pierced into a metal rod. 
She asks Sam for help. But Sam says, everything will sink if they will not leave now. Sam went outside the plane by an opening door. This lets water enter the plane, and the plane begins to sink fast. George's leg is heavily stuck to a metal rod attached to the plane, and water is filling at a fast rate. Liv tries hard to take out metal from his leg, but soon the plane reached the bottom and George could not hold it longer, so she had to leave him and swim towards the surface. Sam can't swim, so she had to swim carrying him. After arriving on the bank of the lake, she gets tired, on close examination, she finds Sam unconscious. She tries to wake him, but he is still unconscious. There she looks at Sam's leg and finds metal inside one leg. It was deep inside and causing blood loss. When she tries to remove it, Sam wakes up and cries in pain. He stops her, by saying removing it will kill him. She tried to stop blood loss by tying his leg with some clothing and a belt. She was able to stop blood loss, but Sam becomes unconscious again. She listens to his heartbeat to confirm he was alive. She took out her phone and tries to call 911, but there is no signal. She took out Sam's phone from his pocket. There is no signal in Sam's phone either. She tries to search signal everywhere around, but was unable to find it. She even tries to find the signal from the highest point of the forest, but got nothing. Now, she becomes aware of the situation. She is alone with an unconscious friend. In an unknown location. She looks scared, but now she has to survive, and get out of this situation. It will soon be night, so she tries to start fire. But is unable to do so. She finds snacks and water bottle, given by Sam in the plane. She collects bushes from the forest. And uses it to cover her. And Sam's body in the night. In night she observes sky, and seems happy. It seems like she had seen night sky after a long time. While observing the sky, she fell asleep. She is dreaming again. In her dream she is having a romantic moments with her boyfriend, the same new boy in her office. Suddenly, she awakes and notices it's morning. She's stuck with Sam in the forest. She again examines Sam, and finds that Sam is alive, but still unconscious. She takes stone and starts to spend her time, by trying to write into tree trunk, alongside lake. After some time, she hears Sam crying in pain. He says, he has pain in his stomach. When she examines him, she finds his stomach swollen. She is confused about what to do. Sam asks about the plane and George. He gets aware about the crash. Liv said to Sam, not to worry, because the rescue team will find them. They just have to wait until they come. Sam said, that nobody is going to come. He asks about his bags. He tells that he's not a photographer, and does not work for National Geographic. He says that no one knows they're here. He says you are on your own. After saying this much, Sam breathed his last air. He died. After Sam's death, she becomes emotional and burst into tears. Episode 1 ends here. Let's see how she will survive alone in the next episode.